Hey, Ben here from Loop Lasso. Congrats on getting your Loop Lasso. I am so excited for you to start using it for the first time and start to learn all of the amazing tips, tricks, and games that we have for you. So, first of all, I wanted to share a few things so you get the best experience from your Loop Lasso. Now, let's talk setup. When you get your Loop Lasso, you'll have your Loop Lasso and three different strings. In order to set it up, it's super straightforward, and I'll show you that right now. You're simply gonna take your string, you're gonna put it in between the two wheels and click it down through the string feeder, and you're gonna get a nice little setup over there. And when you start it up, you'll put your bottom finger underneath the string. And what that'll do is it'll help eliminate any tangles as the string is just getting started, right? You'll turn the power almost to full power right away, and there you go, you have it started. Now, a couple things to note when you have your loop lasso started. First of all, is you have the top string that's going at over 30 miles an hour this way, and you have the bottom string that's going at the same speed this way. What that means is you obviously get this super cool effect of the string hovering through the air like this. But what that also means is you wanna make sure you avoid tangles. Now, don't get frustrated when you first get your loop lasso if it starts to tangle pretty frequently. Like anything, it takes a little bit of skill to get the hang of it, and once you get it down, you'll have much less frequent tangles. But here's the number one way tangles happen, and that happens when you start to point the loop lasso string upwards. What ends up happening is the two strings going opposite directions get closer and closer together. And you can see as soon as they touch, you get a tangle. No big deal, the first thing you wanna do when you have a tangle is stop the motors. In some of our newer versions of the loop lasso, we're actually developing power cutoff chips so the motor automatically stops for you. But if you don't have that, go ahead and turn off the power right away. If your kid's using it, make sure you teach them, hey, Little Johnny, when your strings tangle, make sure you turn off that motor right away because there'll be strain on the motor if the motors are trying to turn and the string is tangled and it can't move, right? So first things first, you turn off the power. Secondly, you got a little bit of a tangle here. Now, we designed the string to be very smooth. So you can see I basically instantly untangled it. Very simple. And once you untangle it, same thing, make sure you have that bottom finger underneath the bottom string and you turn it back on and you're ready to go. So that's just one thing to know. Again, don't get frustrated, all right? It's normal for the string to tangle as you're getting used to using the loop lasso. But as you get better, you'll have those tangles much less frequently. And again, if you ever do get a tangle, just stop the motors, go ahead and untangle it, and then turn it back on and you're ready to go. Now, here's the other thing. If for whatever reason you run into problems with your loop lasso, it doesn't charge properly, or maybe those motors do get damaged over time, just reach out to us. We want you to absolutely love your loop lasso. So that's why we come with a 60 day money back guarantee and a 60 day warranty. So if the motors don't work or something doesn't work as expected, don't worry, you're not on your own. We're not gonna let you have a crappy loop lasso that doesn't work. Reach out to us via email at hello at looplasso.com and let us know and we'll go ahead and send you a replacement, no questions asked, right away. Or if for whatever reason you just decide, hey, the loop lasso really isn't for me, We'll be sad, but we'll be happy to give you your money back so you can check out some of our other toys and products in the future. So those are the tips and tricks for the Loop Lasso. I can't wait for you to start up yours and start learning some of the tips and tricks in our later videos, and I'll see you in those videos.